Vivian. Yeah? Where were you when you saw the film Baby Frankenstein? Outside. That's true. Joyce, where were you? I was also outside. We watched the film Baby Frankenstein. Sam, where were you? Sam, where were you? Sam, where were you? Sam, where were you? Very charming. Very charming. Very charming. <laughs> this is a terrible video so far. So anyway, um, I was confused by... The fir- what, what was the first thing that you were confused about when the you first, watched Baby Frankenstein? The first terrible thing is... You could have told him, like, why are you in my attic? They just moved in. Why is he in the attic? Indeed, how was he in the attic in the um, first place? I think he lived in there for the rest. I don't think it was ever told, but the, the first confusing thing was he wasn't a baby. He, was a, he indeed was not a baby. He was a little person. That they were like, they were like, he's kind of like a baby Frankenstein. And then they named the movie Baby Frankenstein. Very misleading. I mean, even if they were trying to make him seem like a child played by a little person, he was at the very least a pretty old toddler. Not a baby. He was a grown ass man, albeit a small one. He was a grown ass man. Not a baby. Played by a little person. He. Was at the very least a pretty old toddler, not a baby. Well said, Toucan Sam. Well said, Toucan Sam. Well said, Toucan Sam. This. So anyway, um, so what was the plot, Vivian? What was the plot of Baby Frankenstein? Um, uh, it was a baby. <laughs> and then what happened? Um, he was smelling the bush. Anything to add, Joyce? Um, I guess the plot was supposed to be that he he had escaped or was stolen from somewhere, and there was someone who maybe was an FBI agent or maybe just a criminal maybe who was searching criminal. for him. I didn't trust that, that guy for a minute. Um, and the it was kind of like an E.T. esque. It was a little bit like E.T. So they, the mom has like, oh my god, the mom has like a boy, there's just like two creepy guys. Turn this motherfucker off. (laughs) Sam, you're gone. You're done, buddy. You're not allowed on my review show ever again. (laughs) So anyway, it's a, the movie, let's list the characters in the film. I'll list one. There's Onision, who is the main boy. There's about six characters. And then Onision's girlfriend, who was like a... I guess she was about 20, but she was supposed to be a teenager. Viv, who was another character? Baby Frankenstein. Of course, the titular Baby Frankenstein. Who else, Joyce? Um, his mom, her boyfriend, Onision's and mom. his friend. And then the neighbor. We couldn't tell. For, we, it took and us a long time. the guy with the ugly mustache. Right. All the same people. We could not tell whether the, the guy that was her boyfriend was actually her boyfriend. Or I thought it was like an uncle at first because he was just being weird. But like you can tell like the mom wasn't really into her. Him. Yeah, I didn't really like his character. I don't know if that was the point. Anyway, him and his friend with the creepy mustache were supposed to be like the bumbling idiot bad guys who were trying to find baby Frankenstein, whom they called the Chupacabra, in and order to got, collect the $50,000 reward. And he got out a gun. Firearms were involved. Yeah, I thought that it was kind of boring. TBH. How dare you! There wasn't a lot going on. Joyce, how dare you? Well, you- the you... film was better than I expected it to be for what it was titled. What about the and... classic bowling scene? Right, it was like super boring. Um, 
It was just like boring following these kids around. It was almost like they were just babysitting their kid brother, and well, that's then, really like, what the movie was like. They did it. There was like no people at the bowling alley. Right, but them. Major flaw in the film: they were the only people at the bowling alley. And how did they make the bowling alley run if the people that worked at the bowling alley weren't even there? I took it that she worked at the bowling alley. That was her boss. And she snuck in, so she knew how to run everything. But he was the one that turned everything on. Her, her boyfriend. Yeah, Onision turned everything on. Was that actually his name? Right. Uh, he looked exactly like you know, Onision. You know, YouTube star Onision. I think for dropping your name, he owes us some ducats. I don't know who that is. You don't know who Onision is? No. Onision, she's just playing. She knows exactly who you are. It's a joke. <laughs> anyway. Um, Hashtag Onision on this one. Um, who do you think had the best performance in the film? Baby Frankenstein. Baby Frankenstein. Not the guy with the mustache? No. What about the guy um, who played the creep, the, the mom's boyfriend? He got on my nerves. What about the um, Rick Snyder, former Michigan governor, tough nerd Rick Snyder? Hated it. I thought Baby Frankenstein did pretty good. The, Actually, the two I'm kids gonna, were pretty good actors. For the kids what they had. who really were the one, the main people in the movie. For it to be that kind of movie, uh, they they pulled it off pretty well. Right, especially considering that you, you could tell, like, they were just kind of, for some scenes, they were just kind of setting up the camera and being like, you know, just basically say this, and they kind of had to wing it and improv a little bit. Considering that, like, it was that level of shitty. I mean, not good, not, you know, a well-done movie. All right, I'm sorry for saying a rude word. It was a crappy You movie. said a no-no word. Anyway, um, they did all right. And then Baby Frankenstein, whoever that little person was that played him, he did his best. I thought he did good. Right, he was. He really took a, a character that had like very limited lines and actions or did anything, and he... He found a way to be charming. Mm-hmm. Agree. Not very charming, but a little bit charming. Viv, anything to add before we wrap this movie up? Viv, would you recommend Baby Frankenstein or a Leprechaun film? She said she would watch Baby Frankenstein again over a Leprechaun film. Joyce? No, I would watch a Leprechaun film. I too would watch a leprechaun film, no. but I don't. I have no regret. All I'm gonna say is that I watched Baby Frankenstein one time, and I have no regrets. B- Viv probably hasn't seen a leprechaun movie to compare it to. Don't say that, cause I'm not trying to talk down. This is a, it, you know, on the internet movie database, it's a 4.1 out of 10 star movie, mm-hmm. and I feel like that is correct. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like it could have... There's stars below four. There's... I've rated one star on on really big production movies, so... Marie Antoinette, one star hated it. Oh, wow. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye.